Welcome back to the BS Bourbon channel, where we kind of BS about bourbon every now and then, sometimes, on just days that end in Y. This is Law's Whiskey. Now, this was sent to me by Morgan Johnson. Thank you very much for this. This is a four grain, straight bourbon, eight year, bonded, so 100 proof. I've had two different Law's whiskeys before. Neither one of them were anywhere near eight years, and I don't think they were four grain. I can't remember though, so let's go. I, in other words, suffice it to say, I haven't had this before. So I'm excited. <laughs> okay. This is nice. I The only thing that makes me sad is that this is 100 proof. They should not have done, done a bonded thing. They should have released this at cast strength. I can tell right now just by smelling it. It's got beautiful attributes, but I can tell that extra water has calmed it way down. I would want to taste what this, or smell and taste what this is like at a cast strength proof point. Vanilla, cherry, lots of cherry. Orange peel plus orange flesh. Lots of citrus. There's a little wheat, like the wheat, I can smell it in my left nostril. I can't smell it in my right. When I smell with my left nostril, I get the wheat. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird how your brain works. What the hell? On the right side, I get all the corn and rye, and on the left, I'm getting the wheat. That's so weird. Oh my gosh. Burnt, almost burnt chocolate. Like if you were melting, melting chocolates in a pan, and you weren't being careful, and you got it a little too hot. I don't know if you guys have ever made chocolate before. Do I? I look like somebody that's made chocolate before, right? Yeah. Okay. So... It, a little bit overcooked chocolate. And there's like a nuttiness that's like, it's an odd nuttiness. Oh, you know the, um, the mustard and whatever nuts, roasted nuts, a hint of that. I can't think of what those are called. Anyway. Oh, I, yeah, mm, this should be at cast strength. I like the nose better than the taste. The palate is thin. The palate is thin, it almost reminds me of tequila. That's freaking weird. It's hollow. Okay, so most tequilas are 80 proof, you know, way watered down and and they feel like kind of hollow in the middle for a bourbon drinker. And and this reminds me of that. I don't it doesn't taste like tequila, but it reminds me of that feeling. It's like a spicy vanilla, caramel, and um, and then it goes into a little bit of oak tannin on the back end. I would love to see this at cast strength. Yeah, I the, the nose is outrageously good. The nose is wonderful. Palette is very lackluster. It's just is kind of hollow, and um, yeah, mm, mm, mm. I have to call BS on this one. Mm. The nose is freaking great, man. I it really had me it had me sold on the nose. The palette just phew, underwhelming. Yeah. Mm. Eh. Eh. Is it drinkable? Sure. Is it great? No. They should never have put this out of 100 proof. I get it. They were doing the bonded thing. I get it. I get it. I 
don't do that. I actually love it, it. Just tastes like water. It tastes like there's a lot of water. I I would love to see this at cast strength. So anyway, thank you for sending this to me. Until next time. I hope you have a good. I hope you have a great day.